make a big Welcome back to Queen the Greatest, a year-long celebration of 50 of Queen's most remarkable songs, performances and achievements. In this episode, we continue our celebration of a song that is arguably one of their finest, We Will Rock You. With its instantly recognisable rhythm and memorable lyrics, it's no surprise this song has become one of the band's most popular and deservedly resides in the Grammy Hall of Fame. In this special interview for Queen the Greatest, Brian shares a few more secrets about the song's fascinating evolution. I wanted the song to be non-standard. I wanted it to be exceptional in every way. So I wanted to break all the rules. And normally the guitar solo comes in the middle and then you get back into the last verse and, and wind the thing up. I didn't want that. I wanted the whole song to be there and then comes the guitar solo out of nowhere. And I could hear something in my head, but I wasn't really sure what it was. And in my memory, I think I only I only went in there once. I just did one take. I just went in there and I wanted to be spontaneous. It, I didn't want it to be planned. So I got him to play the whole track. So I was kind of playing, playing along with the whole track in my head, but not making any noise because the noise was going to come when... So I'm all ready. And then when it comes to my bit, I do the big... Uh, <laughs> C chord which changes key so it changes key for this solo and it's never coming back so there's a kind of there's an event at the end of the song which is irreversible if you like so it, it changes to the A chord and I found this way of kind of playing an A chord down here but also playing it up top but still using the open strings it made that strange kind of bell-like sound and I enjoy doing these kind of little chordal things and I just fished around. I, I could feel something inside and I didn't really know what it was, but I was just playing along to the feel of, of what was coming through my headphones. So I went back in and listened to it. And the bit I really liked was the, something that I'd stumbled upon by accident. That one little riff stuck in my head and I thought that's the way to end the song. <laughs> So I, we copied the tape, we snipped it out with scissors, or actually probably with a razor blade, um, put three versions of that together, and that's what you hear at the end of the, the track. I didn't actually play it three times, I just played it done once, and we, um, we duplicated it and put it on with sticky tape. That's what you're hearing. So if you listen to those last three phrases when we were occupied with the original recording, you will hear the three phrases, which are all the same, and you hear kind of scratch between and how did that happen it's because i'm coming from the bottom up to the top to play that thing so naturally if i'd been playing it it wouldn't be there that's a little secret if you like so you're hearing a scratch of something which never happens between the three uh <laughs> three see this is very geeky information but somebody's going to go oh okay i can hear that <laughs> those little scratches i liked all those little imperfections you know when you do something and you get what you want but you also get a little bonus of something you didn't expect i thought yeah i like that little scratch it's going to be with me for the i remember having that feeling it's going to be with me for the rest of my life and it has been yes. we will rock you is with me everywhere i go <laughs> I had no idea of how far it would go, no. And uh, there was a bit of, there wasn't that much confidence in the studio around me in the sense that not everyone was convinced that this was gonna work and they weren't convinced that people were gonna play it on the radio. Turned out that they did, which is nice. But yes, the thing I suppose I'm most proud of is the fact that it became part of public life. So when everyone goes, anyone goes boom, boom, in any, any form whatsoever, that's what it is. And people kind of, the greatest compliment is when people think nobody wrote it. They just think it's always been there archetypally. <laughs> so We Will Rock You has become like, I don't know, something which is traditional and, and goes back to the Stone Age. And that makes me happy. And it brings joy. It brings people together. That's probably the best thing of all because We Will Rock You and We Are The Champions were conceived in that way, in that sense of trying to bring people together. And every time I hear this happening at a, a football match or it's a sports fixture anywhere around the world i think yeah it kind of worked it worked it brings people together it makes people feel that they have some kind of power by coming together that's a good feeling for humanity i think togetherness is a great thing <laughs> Thank you.
Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place, singing, We, we 